Resident Evil. Alright, so, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with me, Fu. Now, last time, I ran into a bit of a, pr a bit of trouble with these nasty guys called Hunters. And by a bit of trouble, I mean a lot of trouble. Because these guys were difficult in the first game. Oh my god. Are they difficult in this game? I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if I didn't get much farther for a while. I don't even know if I'll be putting this episode up. It depends on if there's any progress or not. But, I said at the in the description of the last episode that I was going to try. I was going to try at least fighting them. So, here goes. You'll notice that I have the grenade launcher out. I have equipped flame rounds. Let's hope I can see him. Nope, can't see him still. I've heard that this is supposed to be pretty good at fighting them. Problem, of course, I can't see a goddamn thing. Remember when this was all lit up? I do. Pepperidge Farms remembers. That was a good time. So we're going to be retreading a little ground that we did before in the last episode. I'm going to have to do that little puzzle with the the oil pressure again, but whatever. It's not too big of a deal. If I can remember how to do it. And hopefully we can get past the hunter that caused such a problem on the uh, on the bridge. Anyway, yeah, let's operate it. So we gotta get to, to seven, right? So if I remember correctly, we just do one five, and we just keep doing three until it kicks us out. Yeah, because then we have one, and then we can just use the three. Uh, it's nice to actually have a puzzle I can solve without actually putting my mind to it in Resident Evil. Nice math word problem, for once. You know, they said in, uh, in elementary school, I'd need to know these how to, how to answer those word problems. Well, for Resident Evil, Code Veronica, they were right. Uh, we've been dead so long. No clue where we're supposed to go. So, let's see if the... Yeah, okay. I never used this in uh, Resident Evil 2, where you can uh, aim up a little and wait for them to get close and just blow off their head. Because I never really... The aiming in these games is all is really weird. At least to me, just because... I don't know, you'd think that, uh... Still can't jump down there, swim with the fish. You'd think that you'd be able to, uh... Aim a little... Better. But no, it's just straight up, straight down, for the most part. I feel like aiming up, we're gonna completely miss anything that's in front of us, unless it's directly above us. Shows how wrong I am. Okay. Time to take care of another hunter. So, last hunter, I used the flame round. I used two shotgun blasts, I think. This is a little bit lighter, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Maybe we'll get somewhere. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing right now. I'm trying. I really am trying to make this as light as I can. But there's only so much you can do with a video that's already really dark. It's 
it's not easy. It's not easy being green. Actually, it's quite easy being green in this one because that means I've got all the health I need. <laughs> Alright. Where are you, you bastard? I'm ready, sort of ready for you this time. Okay, not at all. But I'd like to think I. No! God damn it. Whatever. Screw you. <laughs> I completely missed him. They're just so quick. You don't get a moment's... I'm already down to caution. One hit. You don't even get a moment's rest or anything. Okay! The zombies are explosive now. I, I saw something. What is up with your eyes? Have you been seeing Wesker recently? Oh. Well, I heard that in, uh... The, the capital R, capital E... Resident Evil, like, Resident Evil remake of the original one, where there were these, uh... Scarlet zombies that came back? Maybe that's what those guys are. Aha! Hello, my hunter friend. See you've got your back turned. Let me... Let me, uh... Yeah, okay, two flame grenades. Take him out. I'm really hoping we don't run into, like, hundreds of these guys. Nothing is being shown. Whoa, 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 whoa. This device supplies electricity to lift. Cut off the electricity. Oh, okay, I see. Yes. Okay, so we can get the three seals. And I've got room for three seals. And that'll, uh, let us... Yeah, three proofs, sorry. And that'll let us, uh, open... those lasers. I can just take them all now. It's probably a bad idea. Can I put them back? No. Guess I'm just stuck with them. Maybe I can find a chest, throw them in there. Wishful thinking, probably, but we'll see. Alright, did these guys come back, or was blowing off their heads enough? Oh, they're good. Oh, okay. Because there were those, uh... There was those zombies at the end of Resident Evil 1 in the labs that kind of came back unless he killed him a few times, so. Oh, man. I'm just expecting to get attacked in here, and I don't know what I would do if I did. Because it's... <laughs> it's not even like I can tell what I'm doing if I, w if I had to do anything but walk there. Oh, that's right. Uh... No, wait, we did leave the submarine down there. Did we? Oh, I have no clue anymore. Damn it. So we do have to go back up. Which means I do have to go back over the uh, platform. Well, good thing we've got herbs and spades waiting for us back at the other half of the military base. I wonder if these are c the hunters can be uh, treated like dogs a bit and I can just run by them. That would make things easier. There we go. I don't care that I'm using the flame rounds. These guys are pains in the ass. The fact that I've already killed three of them is astounding. And it's not like there are three that I could have run past easily either. Those two up in the, uh... In the entryway in the mili military base, those were a bit easier to run by because it's an open space. All right, so let's drop this all off, and we'll get whatever whatever's up above. Acid round should work well against them as well. I'm gonna save the grenade rounds. 
for now. I... Should I save? I am a giant coward. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I feel like I've already done quite a bit. I've killed things. Killed hunters, at least. I'm gonna save. It'll probably make my grade that much worse, but I don't care. It's like the Resident Evil SATs, except it's spelt stars. The stu- uh... The student test... For the... Uh, ha for... Aptituding... Raccoon... Stars. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to put them together. See, that keeps make me th making me think we're gonna use that at some point, but I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Now, do I want to go to the rest of the military base, or do I want to try to make a break back to the to the to the military base where we started off? Um. Let's try... Uh... Oh, come on! I said... I wanted to run! No! I'm glad I saved. Oh, those were red ones. Those ones are harder, aren't they? Jeez, two hits. Wow. That was... That was insane. God. I thought I'd at least be able to make it to the door. Maybe, like, have, like, just half my body hanging off, but. <laughs> thought I'd at least make it. Plus, it didn't help that Chris didn't run. Jeez. What's going on with you, Chris? You getting a little tired? A little stressed out from all this action? I know that's. No. Did I, oh, did I not load it? <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, we're gonna die again. Not a big deal. No. Well, okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have. To, oh, should I take out these guys or just try to run past again? Ooh. It's a hard question. I don't know. At the very least, let's drop this stuff off and we can start making herbs back at the other place, but uh let's take the first aid spray. Thank god we've held on to him so long. I think that's one we still we've had from the beginning. I can't be sure, but I know we've had it for a while. Let's try one more time, shall we? I might try taking out one of them. I should just take out both of them. I've got enough acid rounds. I just hope Chris is fast enough on the draw. Why are you holding down the trigger? Oh! These guys only take one hit each? Oh, whew. That's better than I thought it was gonna be. <sighs> yeah, screw you guys. Should have taken the grenade launcher with me to begin with. I don't even care that that might be a waste of ammo. I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, I'm just glad that they're gone. Alright, so where are we headed again? We want to go back this way. Is it open? No. Okay, oh, is it the tank that's blocking it? Yeah, whatever. We got a... Oh no, that's a window. Uh, we got a... Get over there, Chris. We've got a... Ways we can get back. Uh... 
Wow, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a, it's been a while since I recorded this. On now, I'm trying to think how do I get back. But we took care of everything over here, so we should just be a straight shot through. Uh, where is this? I honestly don't remember where we are right now. <laughs> and I feel a bit embarrassed by that. I mean, I know where we are. I'm just like, I don't know how to get back to, uh... Is it this ladder? Ooh, what's... Oh, that's just, that's just the shine off the door. I don't remember where the ladder leads. Let's find out, shall we? I know I've gone down it. I just... Did I go down it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Okay. Do I have to go get the blue card key? I should go get the blue card key. I thought there was a, uh... How do we get down here again? I know... Okay, wait, 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 wait. I know that it wasn't through here. Because obviously we just came that way and that didn't lead anywhere. I know it wasn't through the door with the flaming, uh... Well, with the flames in front of it. Because... Oh, that's right. We took the we took the elevator up. Um Do you know what? I'm going to go get the blue card key real quick. It's just an elevator ride anyway. I'm going to go get that. Open up the room with the gas ventilation. Cuz that'll open up the way and then I can um actually keep the shotgun, I think at that point. Yeah, I should be able to keep the shotgun at that point. I don't have to put it back. We'll make our way to the painting room with the military training complex uh, diorama. I bet Alfred put that together for, like, his third grade class. I bet he didn't even put it together himself. I bet he had his dad pay someone to do it for him. <laughs> we all know that knew who those kids were when we were in school. They'd have the best looking uh, diorama book reports. <laughs> Look like something out of one of those uh one of those Easter egg like giant Easter egg things where you can like look in it and you see a scene. Or stuff like that. Were the Easter eggs or they just like some sort of like Were they just eggs in general? Uh, I don't know. I know they existed. I'm just I can't think what they're called. At least they're better than a. They're, I don't think they're quite as tacky as Fabergé eggs. Watch, someone's gonna get pissed because I just called Fabergé eggs tacky. I think they are tacky. I think they're. The gilt and everything on them is kind of, well, gilt. The gold trim and lacing and stuff is kind of dumb looking and kind of gaudy. Anyway, back to Resident Evil Code Veronica. <laughs> back to Chris Redfield and his, uh, his errand. Oh, that's right, I didn't go back and kill these guys before I, uh... I started everything again. I don't want to discard the emblem card. I've had it so long. Yeah, okay, we'll discard it. All right, so let's uh let's get that shotgun out and kill us some zombies. Shall we? Hey, guy over here. Come on. Boom. <laughs> oh, it's so uh refreshing actually understand oh Leon is that you oh no close not enough uh, not boy band enough of a hair style it's actually nice to know how to do the headshot now oh did I get him no oh, I guess so I 
I probably should be using the pistol on these guys, shouldn't I? I just had such a uh, windfall <laughs> with the uh, with the shotgun shells because I haven't been using the shotgun the entire game. Or well, no, because we haven't been collecting shotgun shells at all. But uh, I think I found one uh, in the Antarctic base when I was just messing around. But I have no idea where they are anymore. <laughs> um, no, there. It's just. I don't know, we had so many shotgun shells, of course, I'm gonna burn through them all. But go, how many pistol rounds do I even have? I think I've got a lot. I'll have to check in a second. I forgot to pick up the proofs while I was uh, getting the emblem card, by the way, so... We're gonna have to go to the spider room. My favorite place. We get 138 pistol rounds. <laughs> We're doing all right. All right. Once we get the uh, the the proofs into the into into the map room, I think it's time to call it an episode. I'm just playing very Devil May Care at this point. Because <laughs> it seems like, uh... The times that I've saved the grenade ammo for bosses... I didn't really need it. <laughs> Tall, gray, and ugly Mark II, I kind of... There was one time I got him near, the, near death just using the pistol, I think. And, uh... Mr... Tall, gray, and billions and billions of legs. Arms. <laughs> uh, well, he was mostly a sniper rifle. So, I don't know. Anyway, let's pick up these proofs while we're here. And we will be on our way. I said we'll be on our way, Chris. Hmm. So... Juan's not becoming a zombie, so I guess that takes away the idea that you die first. And the infection- you can be infected by the T-virus afterwards. That's nice. Although there's not any T-virus zo zombies down there at all, so I guess that doesn't really count then. I don't know, because you've got the, you've got the, in zombie lore, you've got the zombies. You've got zombie viruses that can affect people when they're alive, can affect people when they're dead. It's, it's sometimes both. And then you've got the, uh, ooh, they're not zombies, they're just infected. They're like zombies, but they're not zombies. <laughs> My favorite. I also like when, uh, zombie movies, it's just like, Oh my god! Why are- what's going on with these guys? I don't know, it's... We didn't need to come to this room. It's on the first floor... ...in the main area. Oh! Whoa! Jesus! Whoa! 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 Did not expect that. You know what? We're going down the ladder because I, I need to get them back up on the ceiling so I can get by them. Oh man. No, oh, we can, uh. Well, no, we gotta come back and do that because the herbs I'm thinking of are actually in the, uh, the area where Wesker went all Darth Vader on us. Chris, I am your father. <laughs> that was impossible. Oh, <laughs> uh, who can I say told him? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm trying to think who Chris's Obi-Wan would be. Ideally, it would be Wesker, but that obviously can't work, because then Wesker would be his Obi-Wan and his Darth Vader. <laughs> I guess Barry, but I haven't even met Barry. Canonically. <laughs> so I've not played Jill's story yet. So, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, this is the place. Is it this room? I have a feeling this is the wrong one. No, this... Uh, God damn it. <laughs> I don't know my way around these places. I've not spent hours combing this island looking for my sister yet. I've only spent hours as my sister trying to get out of this hellhole. Oh, that's right, first floor. You never really get that in movies, just that moment where the heroes are like... Do we take a left here, or was it right? Oh, it's a, it's a right! I've got a perfect sense of direction! An innate one! Five hours later. God damn it, you're never choosing the direction again. You're never driving again. For a second, I thought there was someone in here with us. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air Force. Uh. Navy. And, uh. Army. There we go. I'm glad it doesn't matter which way we put them in. Yeah, we're gonna lower the lever. Of course! Levers, buttons, knobs. Do you think I'd leave those sorts of things just hanging there? Ooh. Got some, uh, adventuring to do, it looks like. Oh, there's more shotgun shells. Jeez! When I said windfall, I mean... I didn't expect this. Is that it? Looks like that's it. Um, alrighty. Hmm, should I go down? Hmm. <laughs> oh, can we get, uh... Does Chris have his old, uh, idle animation with the shotgun where he cocks it over his shoulder? And rubs his chin with the other hand? No, he's kind of got the same pose that Claire does. Seriously, is this just... They just use the same models for Claire and uh, Chris. I mean... Ready, ready, ready? Look at that strut. <laughs> okay, there's not much of a strut. But uh, Claire didn't really waggle her, hip, her hips back and forth either. There's a little. There's a little. You can't deny that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time before, <laughs> before I make you look at Chris's ass even longer. <laughs> on next, I'll see you next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with me, Alex Fu. But first, let's take a peek downstairs, see what's going on. Oh my god, there's an end to the lap. Oh. What a room. What a room. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye now. <laughs>